I made these videos using Google VO3 AI video generator. Now, normally to use this yourself, you need to pay $250 per month and you need to be living in the United States. But I paid exactly $0 to create my VO3 account. I can use it for 15 months and I don't even live in the US. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to get access to Google's VO3 completely for free, put it to the test with some crazy realistic prompts and break down what actually works so you can create professional level videos without spending a single dollar. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is head over to google and type google vo3 then click on this link right here and press on try vo3 now here's where it gets interesting google has this thing ai pro which gives you access to vo3 for free right now there's a student promotion running where you can get 15 months completely for free which includes vo3 video generation and here's the good news you don't actually have to be a student to get access to it now when you visit this link you'll most likely see a message saying this account is ineligible for google ai pro plan this usually happens because it's restricted to certain countries or people under a certain age but here's how we can bypass this all right so the first thing you're gonna need here is a vpn i actually went through like i don't know several different vpns from chrome store and honestly most of them were pretty much useless but the only one that actually did what it's supposed to do was this first one right here and the best part is it's completely free which is awesome now obviously there are other options out there like nordvpn or stuff like that so really you can go with whatever you want as long as it's you know actually get the job done you're gonna need to install this thing as a google chrome extension i've already got mine set up so i'm just gonna click on it real quick i'm gonna set my location to usa and then turn on the vpn you can see right here it says connecting and yep there we go now our vpn is actually on now to double check that everything's working properly what we're going to do is go ahead and search for what's my ip in google and then just click on the first link right here you should see that your location is now showing up as somewhere in the us which means you know the vpn is actually doing its job properly this time around it should ask you to log in with your google account i'd recommend creating a brand new account or just use the different one that you don't normally use for this kind of stuff now once you're logged in you'll see this message gemini pro is free for university students for 15 months for zero dollars until june 2026 that's exactly what we want right there now just press on verify student status the key thing here is student verification you're going to need an educational email address basically one that ends with edu if you're already a student then you can just use your existing email but if you're not well we're gonna need to create one so for that you're gonna go to this website and pick a username make sure it's on edu and do the captcha so it knows you're human then press create now copy this email and go back to google paste it here and press submit it's gonna ask you for a verification code right now so go back to this website refresh the page and you'll see the google email right here copy this code and go back to google paste it right here in the verification code field and hit submit now if everything works out you'll see you're eligible for google ai pro student discount press continue you're gonna see start your free trial they're gonna ask for a payment method you can add your paypal your cash app or a credit card or debit card don't worry though since it's a free trial they won't actually charge you anything right now but make sure to cancel your membership before the trial ends so you won't get charged once your card is verified you'll be taken to gemini pro you can see it says video right here but this isn't actually where we want to create our videos this interface is pretty limited instead go back to google and search for google vo3 click on the first link then press on try and flow and then press on create with flow sign in with that same account we just set up press next then press continue and boom you're in all right now that we got access let me show you actually how to use this thing properly so here's the interface just click new projects here you've got three options text to video frames to video and ingredients to video which is only available on the ultra plan but before we do anything click on this little setting icon this is super important by default it's set to generate two outputs but each video costs 100 credits and we only have 1000 credits per month so i always set this one to one output unless i really need variations and you see how it says fast by default that's actually VO2 model, not VO3. You want to select highest quality with audio to get the real VO3 experience. Let me start with something simple to see what happened. I'm going to try a businessman walking down a busy street. Okay, while this generates, let me explain what I'm expecting versus what might actually happen. I'm curious if it will add natural city sounds and if the walking will look realistic and how it handles the busy street part. Will there be other people, cars? Let's see what we got. It only took around two minutes, which I think is pretty fast compared to some of the other tools out there. So let's take a look. interesting it did generate a pretty decent businessman and the movement actually looks pretty natural 
except the eyes look a bit wonky. The audio picked up some ambient city sounds too, which is nice. Not bad for a basic prompt, but I think we can do way better with more detailed descriptions. Let me try being more descriptive and see if that makes a difference. Now, let me start with something simple to see what happens. This time I'm gonna try white shot of a young woman in a red coat walking confidently down a rainy New York street at dusk with neon signs reflecting in puddles and the sound of traffic and rain. I'm adding specific details like red coat for visual interest, the rain for atmosphere, and I'm specifically mentioning the sound I want. Let's see if the VO3 actually picks up on these details and give us something more cinematic. Okay, so I totally messed up here. I didn't double check if it was on VO3 and I generated with VO2 model, which doesn't even have sound. And learn from my mistake and always double check which model you're using. Honestly, I think Google should have made the model selection way more visible so people can actually see which one they're using. Anyway, let's try again with the same prompt, but with VO3 this time. While that's generating, let me test something completely different. I want to see how it handles indoor scenes versus outdoor. Let me try close up of hands knitting bread dough on a wooden counter in a rustic kitchen with flower dust floating in warm morning sunlight streaming through a window. I'm really curious about this one because it's testing VO3's ability to handle textures, light, those small details like floor dust. All right, so I'm gonna show you the results in a bit, but here's where things get really cool. I wanna test out this dialogue feature that everyone's been buzzing about lately. Let me actually try creating someone who's, you know, actually speaking. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prompt it with something like medium shot of a friendly barista behind a coffee counter, looking at the camera and saying, welcome to our cafe. What can I get started for you today? With the sounds of espresso machines and soft chatter in the background. Now, this is a real test. Can it actually generate realistic speech with proper lip sync? Because if this works, it's gonna change everything for content creators. By the way, I'm gonna show you the results in a bit, so hang tight. All right, so now let's try something a bit more challenging to see where VO3 actually struggles. I wanna test out some action and movement here. Here's what I'm gonna prompt it with. Dynamic shot following a skateboarder, performing a kickflip down a set of concrete stairs with the sounds of wheels on pavement and the board hitting the ground. So basically, this is testing a bunch of things all at once. You've got the camera movement, complex human motion, and those specific sound effects. I'm honestly not sure if it's gonna nail this or it'll be a complete disaster. All right, so let's break down what we actually got here. Let's start with the rainy street scene. Okay, so it looks pretty decent overall. The sound of cars driving through the rain is actually pretty good, which is nice. Now, here's the thing though. The face isn't that clear. I can't really see the actual raindrops, which is kind of disappointing. You know what else I noticed? The shop signs are basically gibberish. They're not making any sense at all. It's like the AI just throws some random letter together and just call it a day. But here's the thing. Despite those issues, the overall vibe is still pretty good. So basically we're getting that moody, rainy street atmosphere and the audio is doing its job. The thing is when you look at the details up close, that's where it starts to fall apart a little bit. All right, so the bread knitting scene. Okay, this one is actually pretty incredible. And you know what really got me? The hand movement and all that flower dust coming off the dough is super realistic. The light is exactly what it would look like if we were filming an actual bakery commercial. Like it nailed that warm professional look and the sound of knitting on that countertop is completely spot on. So basically this is like 5K commercial level video quality we were talking about. At this point, we are all cooked. If you showed this to me without telling me it was AI, I genuinely wouldn't have noticed. That's how good this thing is getting. All right, move on to the barista dialogue scene. This is either gonna be amazing or absolutely terrifying. Let's see. Welcome to our cafe. What can I get started for you today? Oh wow, this is actually so good and natural. She looks exactly like a real person, which is honestly kind of wild. The lip syncing and sound quality is exactly human-like. You really can't tell the difference. Now, here's the thing though. I can't really hear the coffee machine sounds and there's just a little bit of that background chattering. Beside those missing audio elements, this thing is so realistic, it's actually insane. The lip sync is completely spot on and that's usually where these AI videos fall apart, but this one actually nailed it. All right, on to the skateboard trick scene. The physics looks totally legit, and honestly, the camera movement is really smooth and natural. Mm -hmm. Here's what's cool though. You can actually see the shadow of the person who's recording, which adds this whole authentic feel to it. So basically, it looks real and the physics are solid. The sound is good too. There is really no problem with this one. All right, so I just burned through 510 credits testing out these different approaches. I actually wasted 10 on the mistake I made when I was generating with VO2. Each VO3 video cost 100 credits. So now I've got 490 left for this month. Here's what I learned about managing these credits. You definitely want to test your ideas with simpler prompt first or maybe even generate one video with VO2 before you commit those 100 credits. So there you have it. 
that's exactly how to get access to Google View 3 for free from anywhere in the world. You're basically getting $3,750 worth of AI video generation credits over 15 months, which is pretty insane. If you get stuck at any point, just drop a comment below and I'll try to help you out. And if you're interested in AI tools, I've got another video where I teach you how to use Kling AI. It's basically another AI video generator that's a competitor to VO3. So if you want to learn how to use that, just click on the screen right here. If this was helpful, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel because I'm constantly testing new AI tools and finding ways to access premium features without breaking the bank. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.